William Randolph Hearst was an American newspaper publisher, and he was known for his immense wealth and influence in the publishing industry. Think early 1900s, think media empire, like Rupert Murdoch. But I want to know, are you team wife, Millicent, or team side chick, Marion? Hearst came from money. He inherited the San Francisco Examiner in his 20s from his father. And when he was 34, he met a young, gorgeous thing, Millicent Veronica Wilson. She was a showgirl. She was only 16. After dating for about six years, they got married. She was 20. He was 40. And then boom, they're popping out babies. They had five sons together. Initially, his mother did not accept Millicent. But after she had kids, she realized, oh, she's a devoted daughter-in-law and she accepted her. So they're doing their thing. William's like, you know what? I am wealthy. I am powerful. I'm getting into politics. And he runs for president of the United States, right? Millicent is by his side. He doesn't win. He continues to run for mayor of New York. He loses. He runs for governor of New York. He loses, okay? And Millicent is by his side the entire time. Finally, he gives up his political aspirations. William starts upping his cheating game, and he begins dating Marion Davies. She was an actress. She was 20. He was like 53. Marion was gorgeous to look at, and this was during the silent film era, and she was, you know, a big star, and William got behind her career. Don't forget that William is a powerful media mogul at this point, right? His newspapers are everywhere, so he really gets behind Marion. Sure, she might stutter, but she's stunning to look at. William was so supportive of his side chick that when United Artists wouldn't sign her to a contract, he developed Cosmopolitan Productions in conjunction with Paramount Pictures. He got the name from one of his magazines, Cosmopolitan. We'll get back to that later. Wifey Millicent is still at home with his kids raising his sons, right? So what does William do? He starts living openly with Marion, okay, the side chick. 1919, she's moving into his homes in California. It was an open affair, okay? But let's say Wifey and the kids wanted to come visit one of his many estates in California. Well, Marion would have to pack her stuff up and go. Meanwhile, Wifey, Mrs. Hurst is being the dutiful wife, dutiful mother. She's there. But our boy William is just openly posing for pictures with his side chick, Marion. They're living in Hearst Castle. They're throwing lavish parties. Everyone must go visit Hearst Castle because it must be nice. He's lavishing her with money, gifts. Again, they're throwing Hollywood elite parties at their estate. And Millicent, finally, she's had enough, okay? She's like, mm, I'm leaving. So she takes the boys and she moves to New York City. Millicent was Catholic and she did not believe in divorce, but she couldn't take it anymore. So she built a life for herself in New York. William and Sidechick are living a life of luxury. Wifey and Offspring are also living in luxury, but they're in New York. And you know what? They're not feeling their dad. They're side-eyeing their father. He's got a mistress. He's cheating on their mom. But you know what? He pays all the bills. Mrs. Hurst starts concentrating on her philanthropic endeavors. You know what I mean? She's feeding the needy. She founded the Free Milk Fund for Babies, which provided free milk for disadvantaged families in New York City. William and Side Chick are in California and they are living their entertainment life, but they're both cheating on each other as well. William has another side chick and Marion is messing with some co-stars, including Charlie Chaplin. Even though he was a cheater, they say he was insanely jealous. Which brings us to 1924, the Thomas Ince incident. Thomas was a screenwriter, producer, director. William hosted a weekend yacht party on one of his yachts. Thomas was on board and suddenly he passed away. And William's newspapers reported that he had heart failure. But of course, there were rumors circulating. And one of the rumors was that William thought he saw his side chick, Marion, Bumping uglies with Charlie Chaplin, he thought that Thomas was Charlie and accidentally pew pewed him. Was it an unaliving due to jealous rage? We'll never know because they covered it up. It was rumored that William and Marion had a child together named Patricia. Marion would say that Patricia was her niece, but later when Patricia passed away, she was like, nope, I was their daughter. Who knows if this is true or not? William and Millicent never got divorced. It's cheaper to keep her, as they say. And one time they were almost there, but Millicent was like, I want Cosmopolitan magazine, and he refused. Marion the side chick was there for her man. When he lost a bunch of money when the stock market crashed, she cashed in some of her gifts and supported him. Some would say Marion's career struggled because William was so involved with it, but her career started declining. And because of this, Marion started drinking heavily. In 1937, she retired from the stage. She started concentrating on charities and taking care of William. In 1951, William Randolph Hearst 
passed away at the age of 88. Marion was by his side. He left her money and shares. 11 weeks after William passed away, Marion married this guy, Horace Brown. He was a sea captain. He was terrible to her. She filed for divorce twice, but they never got divorced. In 1961, at the age of just 64, Marion Davies passed away from cancer. Millicent Hurst passed away in 1974 at the age of 92. So, are you team wifey or team side chick? William Randolph Hearst was a dirty dog. 